Assalamu alaikum ji. It's an honor for TFT uh, Sports today that we have got a renowned sports photographer with us today in the studio. A man who has experience of 30 years, of 30 years of vast experience in covering sports activity across France. He worked for Ebra, a leading uh, new newspaper and leading um, press group in France. Mr. Jane Mark, thank you very much for coming to the studios today. Thank I you. would love it's a honor. Thank you. First, the, the most foremost question, the first question is that how do you get into this business of photography? Um, when I was little, at the age of 12 or 14, I discovered photography. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, you know, we, uh, the cameras were very different from where they are today. And I went to school, to university, and I grew up. And then I, I started to work as a freelancer for, for a newspaper. Okay. And uh, at that time, nobody was very enthusiastic about sports photography for a simple reason. It was very risky. You know, you had very little... Risky in what sense? Uh, in the sense that technically, you know, uh, focusing at that time was uh, almost art. You know, you had to be lucky and uh, to have the right shot and the right focusing. Mm -hmm. Of course, today, with the cameras that we use, it's, it's another question. But at that time, very little people were interested in sports photography because it was not that easy with the equipment we had 30 years ago. But uh, maybe I was very young and, uh, and uh, every time uh, there was a mission for a freelance photographer that I was, I raised my hand. I said, okay, I will try, okay? So, and it worked. I was lucky and blessed. It worked for me. So, um, so I did so, and little by little, I mean, the, some people, magazines, get me more assignments because I could do the job. And, uh, and then you get, probably, probably like in any job, you get better and better. And, yeah. so, and so I became a sports photographer. Great, great bottom line is very great. But, the, but what do you think? What's the difference between sports photography and other photography? Um, I would say the, the difference is not very, very big. Um, but sports photography has um, very particular features. Mm. First, most of the time you cannot interfere with the scene that is going on. You would not imagine somebody walking on a cricket field or walking on a soccer or football field. So you witness. So there is no way you can have uh, an influence on the, the game going on or the competition, of course. So um, I would say uh, in general photography, you can talk to the people, you can uh, move from one place to another. In sport photography, usually, you're set to one place and that's it. There is very, very little opportunity to move on from your right or your left or to, to be elsewhere. So um, you've got to uh, anticipate a lot in sports photography uh, to uh, choose the right place. Um, I would say uh, if I can choose the place, I will choose not so much for the, where the action will be, but for the light. I think the light is uh, in the, 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 the way you want to express a story, in, especially in sports, so important. And, uh, and I've very, most of the time in very international competitions, mm -hmm. you will see all the sports photographers all together. Yeah. For one simple reason, they're all competitors to themselves. So if you are my competitor, I mean, uh, I cannot take the risk to miss a shot that you will have. So we'll stay together all the time. And as a beginner, I noticed that, and of course, I, I had to learn. I was not the first on the spot, so sometimes when you arrive, you're like, you, there are already 10 to 15 people before you. Yeah, yeah. And which sports fascinates you more? What, what, what do you think, which is the most challenging sports to cover? Um, the one that fascinates me the most are the sports I, I, I cannot shoot. Like, every time I'm not very happy with the job, like, like um, um, I don't know if it's common over here in Pakistan, but uh, volleyball is a very volleyball. Mm. It's very difficult sport to shoot. Uh, some others uh, are very peculiar, like uh, water polo. Mm. 
Okay, the competition in Doha is going on, and the French yes. team did well, but uh, was beaten last night, I think. Um, but um, what is fascinating uh, that everything has not been done so far. I was telling you about the photographer that stayed close together. Yeah, yeah. Shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder, not yeah. to miss the shot, but. Yeah. Uh, It's a little bit more risky to choose another point of view, mm. and sometimes it reveals mm. things that were not done or another point of view simply on the competition, mm. and that's interesting. And, and, the, and, and, and I would like to say that anything which you said, oh, I have missed that shot, I have missed that thing. Anything in your life, in your professional career, that I have missed that that goal, huh? or I have missed that finish line. Yeah, that, you have got any regrets about sometimes. Um, that happens like every day. Oh, okay, great. Okay. Every day. Okay. Every day you're not very happy about what you've done. And I would say that digital photography has brought a lot to the job, but also is uh, guilty of uh, making me, another photographer, missing the shots. Why? Before. You shoot something, you had to develop the film, it took hours. Okay? Now instantly you can see what you've done. Yeah. And that's the thing, because Uh, you are covering a game and uh, ah, you think you've missed the shot, so you want to see it. Mm -hmm. And by the time you look at your camera, not taking photos, not staying in focus with the subject, something even greater happens mm -hmm. and there you get very angry. So I would say to somebody who's not into sports photography and want to start, stay, stay focused. Whether the shot is good or not, stay focused on the game until it's done until it's done. You don't want to, to, to go, I, I go always too fast and see, I've got it or not. You want to see it, and when you see it, you don't stay focused, and sometimes you, you miss even greater shots. And so what are the character, characteristics of a good photographer? What that a good photographer should focus on? Um, that's a question I ask to, to sometimes to my students, because sometimes I teach for, uh, basic photography to students, and I ask, What is for you a good a good photograph? Mm. What what is it about? So there are so many items as we have so many photographers. Uh, uh, one photography for you is uh, is because some some reasons and it's going to be different for me. But I have one clue maybe. I would say a good photo photograph is something you can cannot do again. Okay. Great, great, yeah. And, and that, that's typical to the sport photography because you cannot have the game, the big final, replayed again. Mm. Okay? But uh, when it um, uh, freezes a moment that will never happen again because of you, because you're the photographer or because of the event, then it's the beginning of a good photograph. That's very good. Any of the clips of yours which you like most, any of the photographs, Um, that's a tricky question because um, in my experience every time you were very satisfied with the photographs the day after you do bad self-confidence you need confidence yeah. of course but too much self-confidence is not good at all for the job so if you've satisfied the people they employ you And the readers, you say, okay, I've done the job, but but don't go don't go too far. Mm. I mean, don't be too satisfied, okay? Because there's more to discover, more to do. And if you're too satisfied, then you lower your level every time. Okay, so uh, that happened to me. I was like, oh, yeah. today I'm the best, and uh, the day after, oh, no. you're the worst. What do you think? Uh, your this is your second visit to Pakistan. Huh? Did you take any images from here? Uh, n not not much actually no. because um, I think when you travel it's exactly in, like in sports photography you've got to understand first and uh, here it's I'm here for my leisure I'm here to meet you to to visit the country so I don't have a camera with me no, okay that's great. okay I, I I privilege the time to to meet people and to feel the atmosphere which is very different from my home country okay. so uh, maybe someday I'll come back for photography but it, I, I, I learn I'm surprised like at every minute so uh, well, it's, it's very very shocking and it's very interesting even for me and for the audience uh, who are listening to us that you cover all sports except cricket Yes, because, <laughs> because, because unfortunately no. in, in France, in France yeah. very, very, very few people play cricket 
And I would say even fewer people know about cricket. Like, I must confess that I don't know the rules no, of uh, cricket. Okay. Is it necessary a photographer should know the rules of the game also? I think so, because um, especially today in sports, uh, in professional sports, I consider uh, a sports game is like a show, like a theater play with a story, a beginning, a middle, an end, with some joys, happiness, sadness sometimes. Mm. So you've got to understand, I mean, the, 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 how it goes, how the show goes, mm. so you can stay focused to tell the story. What, who's going to win? What is going to maybe happen? So you've got to know the rules. That's better. Jane, Mark, thank you very much for visiting this Most office welcome. with the Financial Daily newspaper. Uh, thank you again that you came here and give a podcast for us. Inshallah, we'll see you next time also. Thank you. It's for my it's pleasure. A pleasure. Dear viewers, uh, please watch it, forward it, share it. That's the only thing which we are asking. We are asking you. Thanks a lot. Until next episode, uh, Khuda Hafiz.